But it was just my imagination. I always wanted to be a temptation when I was a little kid. Running away with me. And then all of a sudden, I started singing and people started listening. When he said his nickname was Motown, I could easily see why. This is where I stayed at for about a year and a half. All the other places that I worked at, like uh, restaurants and uh, uh, steel plants, they all shut down. They all shut down. The businesses closed up. And I ended up in, out in the streets. I lost my fingers on, in southwest Detroit, shoveling snow. They didn't have no shelters out there. So it got real cold one night. <laughs> and I slept in the car and woke up the next day. I was froze. And they amputated my fingers. I got, still got five. We see him out there, and just the other day, it was so cold, it was unbearable. And when we pulled up at him, he was shaking, and I told my husband, I said, we got to take him home. You know, want to open up your doors, but not really knowing who people are. There's no way that I could have came home and rest my head knowing that we didn't do anything for him at that time. Any of us could be in that, in that situation and how we feel if someone, you know, didn't give us an opportunity. When you feel like, say, somebody can be a certain way, almost like judging a book by its cover. Sometimes you have to bring that book in, open it up and read it. It's been a long, a long time coming, and I know a change is going to come.